In today's video, we're going to be using leaves and flowers on your jelly plate. And due to a large number of requests that I've had for not speeding up the video, more of today's video will be in real time. And you can let me know in the comments if you like that better or you like to have it speeded up so that the video goes more quickly. All right, let's get started. So I need a little play time on the jelly plate and I've got a bunch of fun things here and I'm just gonna see what unfolds. Yesterday was really brutal, just a hard day and working with a jelly plate pretty much always makes me feel better even if I fail, but it's way better when I don't fail. All right, so I'm just gonna go with a really light base here. That was just titanium white and gold. I'm going to be using rice paper. Smooth side down. Move that out of the way. And there we go. Nice um, French vanilla buttercream base. Now I want to put on some of my leaves and do a second coat. What do I want to see? I think a little bit of quinacridone magenta, a little bit of teal, and a little bit of quin gold, quinacridone nicolazo gold, which basically is in a way three primaries, um, although they're a little bit off the actual pure blue, blue, um, yellow, blue, and red. But still, that's pretty nice. <clears throat> and then let's put down some of the, gee, which side do I want? I kind of like what I'm seeing on this side better. This one's really pretty. This has got a little different shape. Oh, that's all the, I didn't save enough of those, I don't think. And this is the Desert Honeysuckle. That part I know is too fat, but put that in there. And then we'll add a little bit of eucalyptus here. This isn't eucalyptus. <laughs> Throw in some of the glass. Oh my goodness, that because that's just been cleaned, it's really giving a strong imprint and our shape of the lipstick holder. Okay, I'm sure that's plenty. And we'll use this here. And get a good press. Let's see how we're doing. Okay. I take the leaves out and get those shapes in there. Wow. Uh, do we dare take this out and get that too? Oh, looks like it, yeah. Okay. I'll leave that one. But take these out. I know it's hard to see um, since you're far away, but the plane just shows the shape. But when I um, let the leaf pattern pick that back up, then you see so much more. Already losing a blossom there, I'm sorry, honey. And we'll leave that blossom again and pick these leaves up. Wow. Okay, that's so nice. I really don't want to print over that, so I'm not going to, at least not for now. 
Let's just move all our friends off to the side here. Uh, let's try one that will not be so, um, you know, uh, tempting to not cover up. <laughs> because I really want to also use my eucalyptus leaves. Okay, that was titanium white. A little bit of uh, quinacridone nickel azo gold. Get a nice base here. It'll have a little bit of the honeysuckle blossoms in there. Oh, and a little, uh, we've got a couple, oh, it's okay, we've got a couple leaves on there or something, nature nature residue all right then and we'll play with some of the um, oleander i'm gonna do green gold this is the liquitex i don't know why i grabbed that i just did a little bit of primary yellow and just a little bit of turquoise thalo turquoise uh, because my intention is to go dark on top of here. So I don't want it to be too dark for this layer. Oh boy, is that green, huh? That's so green. I don't think I've ever used that combination before. That is a, sort of a, a limey, a limey situation. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit of the oleander. This is a little fat, and this stem is a little fat, and I'm a little worried about getting a, you know, an actual print on the plate there. I just kind of wanted these because they're a good contrast to the round shapes of the eucalyptus. I've got some other ideas, the, the things I've seen in the neighborhood, uh, but I don't have these particular plants, so I need to ask my neighbor's permission if I can, you know, use their leaves for that. Okay, so it really, this glass really did work better when I had just cleaned it, so I will remember that. In fact, I have more than one I could, um, I could have more than one to use. Wow. Okay, that's fun. Let's see, I, but I do think I want the leaf print there and we'll Uh, make up the difference with the top layer and the eucalyptus shapes. Oh, that's super fun. I really like that too. Almost hate to cover that up. <laughs> it's okay, don't get attached. So let's go really dark over this. And I'm thinking phthalo blue. little carbon black, some phthalo turquoise. Oh, I, I don't know why I'm hearing white with that. I know, I said dark layer. Hmm, very strange. All right, I try and listen. When the paint is talking, <laughs> I try to listen. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on here, why it said that. Okay, now I actually want some purple or some red in there, but that's probably way enough paint. Throw just the tiniest bit of quinacridone magenta in there and see what happens. Okay, mm, not really loving the look of that right now, but let's see what happens when we put our uh, eucalyptus down. I'm gonna do some editing here. I may just have to cheat a little bit.
Okay, let's see what happens. Here we go. stem. Uh, there we go. wonder if we want to get the print of that there to differentiate it from the other one. Yeah, I'll take that. And again here maybe, huh? Oh, that way we see where they where one ends and the other begins. Okay, well that's pretty fun. I like that. So let's pick this up. Uh, let's do a nice sheer. We'll do some quinacridone nickel azo gold. And some quinacridone burnt orange. And hmm. how about iridescent deep gold? Um, yeah, I just heard the question. No, I did not let that dry. But again, I'm somewhere where it's warm and warmer and drier. So um, that may be something you need to do to let it dry. Wow, you can really see the veins and stuff on that. So yeah, um, what, what, do, what do we want to do on top of that? Do we want to um, try then the um, oleander? I mean, it's beautiful, but I know I, I, I want to go one step farther. So let's do a, um, so that's kind of orangey. Let's do a beautiful light blue over that. We'll do teal. We'll do teal. We'll do titanium white. Well, that was kind of a lot. And we'll do a little bit of the phthalo turquoise. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but not that. Yeah, I, I, I'm hearing a little bit of um, permanent violet dark in there also. Okay, let's see what happens. We'll put this down. I'm being too careful now. I'm getting too attached to the outcome, which is never a good idea. We'll just be a little more casual. Okay. And should we throw some of these in? I don't know, completely winging it here. And even this, I don't know, I don't have any idea. I'm just, I'm just spitballing it as they say. Um, let's use this, see how we're doing here. Yep, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I get, but then the second um, impression, not as, not as good. 
So once it gets loaded up with wet paint, it's not working. Um, although that one did go well. All right, let's see what happens. And I know I'm gonna wanna see um, the, the imprint of, oh, am I though? Oh my God, look at that. Oh God, wait till you guys see that. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> yeah, I almost think I like the other blossom. I'm gonna leave it without, um, am I? I'll leave some of those leaf shapes without picking up um, for good contrast. Making editing decisions on the fly. All right. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know, not what I thought I was gonna get, but it's pretty cool. So let's see, let's pick this up. Let's use mm, green gold. Ugh. Anything else? Diel ride. Yellow. There's really not that much on here, but it, it'll make a good base, right? It's a little bit intense. Yeah, I just wish I'd have laid those leaves out better um, on that print before because that's not great composition. But we can resolve that with, I don't know. I do sap green. Uh, quinacridone Nicolazo gold. Permanent. Violet Dark, and brayer that out. And then what are we gonna do on top of here? Should we just do shapes and stuff and then close it off with the um, eucalyptus? Yeah, and I hear the heater. Sorry about that. That's what you're hearing is the heater on. All right, let's see what this looks like. Well, that's pretty fun. I don't mind covering it though, which is ideal. Um, let's go with titanium white. Oh, and there's some left on the plate, but that'll be okay. Teal. And... Do we want quinacridone magenta? I guess that's what I want. Okay. Okay, last one for today. <laughs> you know what? I've got a whole bunch of um, things on here that aren't gonna go well. And I should have picked them up before I put any paint on here. But I'm getting all um, getting all eager beaver here. <laughs> uh, let's do this 
this and then we'll do this like this. There's some green in there. All right, and we'll go for our eucalyptus again. Be nice to not um, overlap them so that you get a really good crispy print. We'll do some of this in here. Is that enough? I think so. All right, and we'll do one more here and see what we get. Well, I don't know about that. These look like little ping pong paddles. This is what happens when you say, okay, just one more, because there's always the temptation, uh, you know, to, to go again and get something you like more. Oh, but I do like that. Okay. All right, so I don't know, that's pretty fun. My favorite print is the first one that we did. Oh my God, that's like a treasure. Love that. I think second in the lineup is, uh, I don't know, Ty for these two. And uh, rounding out the top four. <laughs> The, the set of ping pong paddles up here. This is Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.